Gilly Girl to the rescue, a spin-off from Chromosome Z. By me. It was the summer of 2043, and beaches were packed with people. Alicorn Beach had over 1,000 visitors all over the place. A young boy named Alex was paddling in the sea when a huge wave swept him off his feet, which alerted his mum to call the lifeguard, who ran up to pull him out. The problem was he was too far out by now and had disappeared under the water and was drowning. He was panicking big time. A webbed hand placed over his ma- was placed over his mouth and breathing apparatus was placed on him and an arm swept him uh, swept him in and a figure could be seen floating him back to the surface. Don't worry, sweetie. We'll have you back on dry land in no time, a sweet soft voice told him. He couldn't speak due to needing to conserve his oxygen. But he knew who it was coming to his rescue. It was Gilly Girl, and she was pleased to be rescuing him. She soon returned to the shore with him, safely intact and returned him to his family. After removing his breathing apparatus and making sure he was alright, she ran off to get herself dried off and transformed back into her civilian form. As she had to do that in secret, Madison Branston soon came walking across the beach to join her family. She was a stunning young woman of 22 and all the young men fancied her, but she already had a boyfriend, fellow Zedder Mac Harvey, whose Zedder identity was Mr. Illusion. Yes, his power was to create illusions. Maddie, honey, you missed it, he told her. What did I miss, Mac? She asked. Gilly Girl just rescued that poor Johnson boy from drowning. It was awesome. He told her. Damn. I always miss those moments, she lamented. She sat down and the two started kissing passionately. Oliver gave them the warning look. You two shouldn't be French kissing in public, (laughs) he told them, and they quickly changed it to a cuddle. Soon after, they saw a young girl disappearing under the water. Madison saw it first and dashed off faster than she arrived. While the girl was drowning, a figure swam up in front of her and performed the same rescue as earlier and pulled her back to the shore and returned her to her family. Her name was Margot Smith. Just as Margot's parents were thanking her, Gilly Girl disappeared and Madison came walking past them. Are you alright there? she asked. Actually, Madison... We were thanking Gilly Girl for rescuing our daughter, but she disappeared, Mr. Smith. Uh, what did he do? He replied, didn't he? Replied Mr. Smith. Damn, I always miss sight of her, replied Madison. This confused the Smiths, and she walked away. Is Madison Branston Gilly Girl? Asked Mrs. Smith. Don't be daft. You heard what she said, replied Mr. Smith. Why did she just scram then? asked Margot. Madison didn't realise she'd made the Smith suspect her of being Gilly Girl after hearing her lament over it. A wipe came across them, and then they had no memory of it. (laughs) And that was Gilly Girl to the rescue. Now the next episode will be quite some time. I hope not too long. I need to write another short story to read to you. But I hope you enjoyed that one. And... 
Thanks for watching.